then you must have tried the alu tikki chaat but today i bring to you a fusion recipe that is the alu tikki pizza bites that you can make for your party starters or any time you are craving for some different type of pizza so here i have taken some boiled grated potatoes into that i'm adding in some dried parsley you can also add in fresh parsley if you have at your house and into this i'm adding in some red chili flakes for that nice spicy taste some black pepper you can see how beautiful this looks adding in some salt to taste adding in some freshly chopped coriander leaves a handful of that you can add in any other ingredients if you wish to like also chaat masala you can add in that as well but i'm keeping it plain and simple now i am going to mix it well so you can see i've already mixed it completely well now i'm preparing cutlets out of it cutlets or tikkis you can make in any shapes or any sizes i'm keeping it the classical rounds i'll keep it aside now for toppings we'll take in some chopped onions some boiled corn and some mixed capsicums now here you can also use in zucchini if you wish you can add in some small chopped carrots or any other vegetables of your choice like you can also add in some french beans or any other healthy alternatives you can just use it but i just preferred using the onion and the capsicum and yeah also you can use in some tomatoes adding in some salt to taste now next i'm adding in some mixed herbs this is like just a mixture of all the herbs mentioned below and some red chili flakes for that nice spiciness in the pizza we'll mix this well feel free to add in any other ingredients or any other vegetables so you can see our rainbow mixture is completely ready we'll keep this aside now our tikkis are ready our toppings are ready so let's start frying the tikkis so today i'm going to be shallow frying it in very little oil using in 6 teaspoons of oil for shallow frying you can use in any oil of your choice so let's just spread in the oil well and now we'll allow it to become medium hot not so hot and not so cold so we'll start adding in the tikkis or the cutlets in the oil one by one you can add in as many as you like or as many that will fit inside your frying pan or cooking pan and then we'll just spread it well so adding in some more tikkis you can also make it in heart shape if you wish if you are making it for you know a special occasion or something like that and today i preferred making mini tikkis because i'm making mini pizza bites and you can see i'm trying to flip them one by one you can see the beautiful gorgeous golden brown color that is not so dark golden it is just a light golden color and after flipping it you can see how gorgeous this look like and now we'll as the other side is still cooking we'll start adding in the other ingredients so first we'll add in our pizza sauce so today i'm using in homemade pizza sauce you can also use in no onion no garlic pizza sauce and yeah also pizza sauce recipe is coming soon so stay, uh, stay tuned for that this pizza sauce is like quick you know i just prepared it within 5 to 10 minutes and it's so so yummy so adding in the pizza sauce we are going to spread it well so that each and every bite in the tikki contains the beautiful taste of the pizza sauce so after spreading it we will start by adding in the toppings mixture that we had prepared the onion and the capsicum mixture that we had prepared keep it handy so yeah we'll start adding in that make sure not to overload it just add in little by little the toppings so i've added in the toppings now i'm using in a mixture of cheddar and mozzarella cheese you can also use in processed cheese or you can use in any other cheese of your choice if you have 
cheese slice at home then you can also use that so adding in um, cheese you can also add in cheese two times like you can add in cheese first and then the veggies and then you can also cover the veggies up with the cheese again uh, after adding in the cheese I'm also going to be using in mixed herbs and chili flakes for that extra garnish and extra taste so at this stage adding in the mixed herbs you can also use in just oregano it's okay it's fine and you can also use in black olives if you have black olives or jalapenos no problem at all now we will close the lid and allow this just to the cheese to melt for two to three minutes on low to medium flame we do not want to burn the tickies you can see the cheese has melted just within two to three minutes of time we'll switch off the gas and these are ready to dig in you can see how lovely and colorful this looks and trust me it is going to be so so easy to make you just need boiled potatoes and then you just make the tickies and then you can also use in ready-made pizza sauce if you don't want to make it at your house then it's just so easy to put it all up together do try this recipe let me know how it turns out trust me this was the best aloo tiki pizza i've ever had and i really enjoyed making it and eating it as well let me know how this recipe turns out for you guys and do subscribe to the cooking hub on youtube thank you so much for watching and god bless you all do try this yummy appetizer recipe and trust me you won't regret it love you all